Hello, I'm Michael, Simple Life RV Adventures. First and foremost, I just want to thank you for your business and supporting the cause. My family and I greatly appreciate it. This orientation video is designed to educate and inform you on the Leprechaun. It will give you all the information you need to know to have a safe and incredible adventure. The Leprechaun has four main storage areas that you'll be using through your trip. The first storage area is the fun storage area. It has a volleyball, a football, a soccer ball, a couple different sets of paddles, and of course, you always have to have a Frisbee. Second storage area is mainly your setup area. This is a large mat that you'll be using for the most common area. This is a universal mat, the black mat. I've used it on the inside, used it on the outside, whichever uh, is the best for your setup. We have a welcome mat, which generally goes right at the front door, and then also the AstroTurf. The AstroTurf is used usually along the perim perimeter excuse me, of the main mat, and that's used to put your shoes off, wipe your feet off before you get onto the main mat and uh, go into the RV. These are just all mats that help you clean less when you're on the inside. They allow you to track in less dirt and sand and uh, brush. The last storage area, we have a propane tank, which is used for the fire pit fire pit we'll talk about a little bit later. In here you also have wood, charcoal lighter fluid, briquettes. You have three durable chairs. Sometimes there's a fourth chair in there. And then on this side you have leveling blocks and stepping blocks. Leveling blocks is for leveling the RV when you pull in. And the stepping blocks they are used to put on the outside perimeter of the large mat and they typically just help you step on them before you get into the mat and it helps um, alleviate more um, sand and so forth that you use, generally track in. Here's the fire pit. When you're using the fire pit and when you're taking it out, it's in a little bit of an awkward position. So make sure you have someone help you, um, watch your back, and uh, just get that out there as comfortable as you can. If you can't do that, grab someone else at another campsite, allow them to help you. Also, we have a trash container. Tall kitchen bags are on the inside, and we also have a large four by six table, which has been used to set up food on. It's been used for the kids to uh, do arts and crafts. And uh, that's all we have for storage area number three. We'll cover four later. Okay, now we've moseyed to the inside of the Leprechaun. Now it's time to show you all of the fun items that we have in here for your venture. Up in the upper right above the dining table, We've got Uno, a couple decks of cards, some Scrabble, Spot It, a camp game, and uh, there's even Sari in there and a safe lawn dart set for you. A couple items in there as well. The next cabinets, where's the TV? There's the TV. Pull this down. It's an awkward position, so watch your back when you're doing so. Spring, there's a nice spring on there. It's got a big tug, so watch your back when you're doing that. Close these, now you're set for the rest of the stay. Last cabinet, a bunch of old school DVDs. You have one remote for the DVD, one remote for the TV. You also have a little remote in here for the stereo system for the RV itself, uh, which is Bluetooth, set your Bluetooth up to it. I've got a fire stick in here for your use and also an HDMI cable. Um, I typically put my laptop right here Throw the HDMI cable there and into the back, use the remote, and then you can access whatever you like to watch as long as you have good reception. Moving back to the queen size bed, you typically have two people back here. You could fit three kids up here. Just pull this over. That's up there so you don't make it easy to get in and out of the, of the cab of the car. Put that down. Buckle these up. You've got a nice little safety net for your kids. Uh, there is a ladder in the back. The ladder sits right here, goes into these rivets, and uh, allows you to get up and down fairly easy. You also have a step right here as well. On this side, this uh, couch folds out. It's pretty easy to fold out. You just take it like this, push it back. Above your twin bed, you have 15 inch, probably about 15 inch storage areas. You can fit a ton of dry food up here. So when you're packing, um, don't be frugal. You're gonna have uh, plenty of room for all of your food, in, food items. 
Heading on over to here, you have the refrigerator and the freezer. Um, my main thing here is don't touch it. I'll set everything up for you the whole time. You don't ever have to turn anything on or off. Um, the main thing is, is if you're in, when you're in route, it's got little clips on here and you can hear the click. Please make sure you hear the click every time you open and shut the freezer and the refrigerator. I've uh, been known to go around a corner and have a dozen or two dozen eggs fall on that floor en route to the destination. So make sure you always hear the click. On this side of the common area, we have the microwave. Microwave is one of the few items that you will need a generator to run. You also have above, you have a light and a fan, your stove top, propane. Turn these on to light, hit the spark, and they turn right on off. Turn them off. You got the oven right there. Um, if you want to use the oven or if you're preparing anything in the oven, please give me a call and uh, we'll talk about lighting that thing and using that thing. Um, this drawer, top drawer, has a bunch of cooking utensils, measuring cups and so forth. The second, you have a few kitchen towels and an oven mitt and some uh, marshmallow sticks as well. And third, an assortment of trash bags. You have kitchen bags in here and some storage bags in, in here as well. Moving on to this, you have some cutlery, can opener, sponge, and some Dawn. On the other side, you have a dish rack. Fits right in the sink for washing dishes. And then you also have three different types of strainers and then three knives as well. There is also a cutting board in here. Moving up top, we have salt and pepper, some coffee cups, some assortment of coffees. This is my favorite. If you're lucky to get this one, this is State Street Blend from Santa Barbara Roasting Company. And you've got uh, the varieties change from time to time. It's got some tea, plenty of solo cups that are different colors, so you don't have to write your name on them. And some hot chocolate and apple cider. That stuff changes according to season. There also is some cutlery right here. And up top you have paper plates, regular plates, plastic plates, and some paper bowls as well. That's it for here. Welcome to the control panel. On the control panel, we have items that help us with the generator, the slides, and then also the water. Starting at the top right is the generator. In order to get the generator going, you hit prime. As soon as the blue button lights up, you can go ahead and hit start and the generator will take a moment, but it will start and you'll know when it actually starts. The slides are in and out. There's a slide in the uh, common area and there's also a slide in the bedroom. Before you put the slides out, make sure that there's nothing on the outside such as rocks, bikes, um, or any other items that the slides could move into and damage. Um, on the left hand side, you got the water pump. I would just keep that on. When the blue light's on, you know that the water pump's on. This will allow you to use the sink, toilet, and um, also the sink in the bathroom as well. Underneath the water, you have the gas water heater. I typically put this on 10 minutes before I shower or clean dishes or any other need for hot water. There's also an outside shower that you might turn on if you're coming in from the beach and you um, want to wash yourself off. Um, down here we have sensors. There's for the gray tank, black tank, freshwater tank, and the battery itself. Below the control panel is the thermostat. It's got a mode and up and a down. The mode will take you to a fan, to a furnace, which is your heat, or to the air conditioning. The important thing to remember about this is your air conditioning, the generator will need to be down during your air conditioning. Uh, however, for the heat, you just put on the heat, heat's propane ran, so you don't have to do anything along those lines. In the hallway, we have three storage areas. The first up top, not much in here except for a French press and a grinder, which is exceptionally great in the morning. Second cabinet, which is a bear to open, by the way. We have a coffee maker, some coffee filters. Uh, we have some cleaning rags, some extra storage bags. And this usually comes out and goes right there for the trip. We do have one last cabinet here. It has some cleaning items in there. 
you've got a dustpan and a brush and three different types of cleaning items, uh, feel free to clean as much as you like. Welcome to the bedroom of the Leprechaun. There is so much storage space in this. So when you're packing, bring your jackets, bring all the clothes you need. Um, there's a lot of extra room in the bedroom. Let me start with here. The right hand side, you can hang a bunch of clothes, put stuff up top. Left hand side, got shoes and more room to hang clothes. This is the second hardest drawer to open. It's a bear as well. Hanging clothes, lots of storage space down there. You have a drawer here. Light, two doors up there, small storage on that side. That side has a, a roller in it and it has uh, some other items in there as well. Um, above the bed, it's a three touch deal. One to turn on the blue light, two to turn on the regular light, the reading light, and three to turn it off. These USBs are constantly charged so you can plug in all of your uh, phones and devices into those. Uh, at night before I go to bed, I typically plug in here and set my phone right on there. It's just nice and ready to go for you in the morning. Underneath the bed is where the water tank is. The water tank, as we talked about earlier on, you can tell your sensors um, in the control panel, but if you ever want to lift up the bed, there's a drawer up right there. Right when you look in there, you see a big water tank and you can just check it on a daily basis. What's good typically to do is after the first day, take a look at it, know what you did, and that way you can monitor your water tank if you don't have um, the hookup as well. That's it here for the bedroom. Welcome to the bathroom of the leprechaun, also known as El Baño. Inside the medicine cabinet, we've got lots of treats for you. We have some earplugs in case someone snores. We have some cotton balls, some spray mist for the bathroom, uh, Vaseline, hand soap, body wash, rubbing alcohol, and hydrogen peroxide. Bet you're wondering why we have Vaseline and cotton balls. It is one of the best fire starters I've ever used. Simply take a cotton ball, dip it in the Vaseline really well. If you're having trouble starting a fire outside, strategically place them in the wood and uh, voila, in good time you will have a nice set fire. Behind me, actually below me, is a cabinet. Has nothing in it, but there's space in there for all of your uh, hygienal needs. Um, behind me right here is the shower. Very simple, get in, make sure the water pump's on, turn it on and shower. Above the toilet, lots of toilet paper and the breakdown drops for the black tank. Um, you probably won't be using those. I'll discuss that with you if you're going to end up using those. Behind this door is another cabinet. Plenty of space, put your towels, hand towels, washcloths, all of the above. There's also a uh, hand vac in there as well. This is one of my favorite drawers in the entire unit. Under the bench, you have duct tape, some rope. You have some shovels in here. Could be used as shovels or they can be used at the beach to stake down your tent on the beach. You have a bike lock, a couple lanterns, several flashlights, multiple headlamps, bungee cords, a screwdriver, handheld air pump. And for all of those, all of those units, you have extra batteries, triple A's and double A's. You have a small little air compressor and my favorite, this is the butane to a blowtorch. So if you're not so good at lighting fires and you need a lecture oomph and the kids are running around and it's crazy, you can use the blowtorch we won't even call it cheating. Have fun. Welcome to the light and awning panel. Top is cap light. Cap light is the very front of the RV up top. It's got some LED lights up there. Great for night. Interior lights, it's your basic interior lights when you come in. Um, on interior lights, there's quite a few different buttons around here. So if you're ever looking for light, just look for the closest button. The whole thing lights up. Patio light. That's fun in the evenings with the fire pit. You have your compartment light. Compartment light is great because there's always that seven or eight o'clock PM when it's dark and you're out in the back and you're trying to fumble through the back compartment because you've got so much stuff in there. That will help you find everything very easily. Last but not least is the awning. Uh, the awning goes out very quickly and does a good job but when you bring the awning in, 
you're going to think that something's wrong because it comes in at a snail's pace. So don't be odd. Take some time, sit right here, just hold your finger on the button and that thing will eventually get in. Okay, if you were wondering what's behind door number four, this is another fun door. Uh, you have caution triangles. If Heaven forbid, if anything happens, please be safe on the road. Put the caution triangles out there. Not so much fun as the caution triangles and as dangerous is the sewer hose. The sewer hose is connected from the sewer there in the back. I'll show you there in a second. And this nice little tool allows it to start from here and gently go to its home. Set that up with the hose, you'll love it. We also have the electric. We have an extra extension cord. We have the water hose. We have a tool kit. It's good for anything. It's got a, a, a very good array of tools in there for you. And then last but not least, there is a little mini air compressor, what actually is strong enough to fill up any of the tires on this vehicle. So where's the electric? Electric's right here. Plug the electric into here, into the circuit breaker. It's all fairly easy. Just make sure you turn the circuit breaker off during connections. After everything's fully connected, turn the breaker on and you should have power in here. Of course, if you're plugged in, you don't need the generator. Over here, gas. We have water and of course your shower. Have fun. Here's the fire pit part. Propane over yonder, connected like every other propane tank. This is hardwired in, don't have to worry about this. Open propane tank, push to the left, adjust to your liking. Always be safe with this. With the kids, this does get pretty hot and it does need to cool down before you put the cover on it. And also please no cooking on this thing. And I say that for a reason, thank you. On a serious note, I like to talk about the most common insurance claims when renting an RV. The first one is gas stations. A lot of people tend to pull in too close to the gas pumps and when they pull out, they swing and the back end will hit the pump or the pillar. Please be very careful with that and always use a spotter. Second is the awning. When the awning's out, there's high winds, bring that awning in. It's gonna help it live longer. It's not gonna allow it to tear and so forth. And also when you're driving, please make sure the awning's in. And I actually have to say that because of course it's happened. Uh, third is know your height limits. Uh, you have 12 feet on this rig, so make sure that you are able to fit into anything that's over 12 foot. Also, parking, just get a spotter. Um, this is 33 foot of love. And when you're parking, and if you're not a veteran in parking something like this, you have to have a spotter. Your two side view windows are essential to use with the spotter. You do have a backup camera. And when you're driving also, the two little side view mirrors, the smaller ones, they uncover all the blind spots that you have of anybody um, right next to you. So use your mirrors, use a spotter, know your height limit, and don't pull too close to the gas pumps. Thank you. Well, that's almost a wrap. That's all the information that will get you through into an incredible adventure. We'll have lots of conversations leading up to this. Thank you for your business and thank you for venturing out into the simple life.